Deathway is an ancient surviving form of Burmese bare knuckle fighting, predominantly kept alive by the rural underclass through much of Myanmar's long turbulent history. Lethway, Sport of Warriors, my new book project, attempts to unveil a new detailed study of the sport's history and development, while also examining how and why it works. Research for this project first began in 1999, during the annual Myanmar vs. Thailand yearly event. I then proceeded directly into Myanmar to document the sport, creating a work that survived the last of the great teachers and fighters. It remained a tough and troubling time for Lethway, due to Myanmar's near total isolation from the international community, which stifled any growth and expansion for the sport. I started the second portion of research after Myanmar's 2011 political reforms eased restrictions and led to the beginnings of a quasi-democracy. Lethway, during this period, came to be viewed as a potentially valuable export commodity. This led the way for a newer, bigger promotions seeking to bring in a wider global audience. In this new open landscape, the 2014 one-on-one fight demonstrated that there was great potential in holding large-scale fight promotions aimed at attracting a broader audience. This was followed by the reinvigorated 2015 and 2016 Golden Belt Championships, as well as major Japanese Lethway fight cards held in Japan. In 2017, the World Lethway Championship founded by Yangon businessman Zai Thia, held the first of several major events that began building a massive fan base for the sport. Lethway began receiving worldwide recognition and soon realized its potential as a tough and durable sport capable of reaching an international audience. But tragedy struck when the unfortunate COVID-19 outbreak reached Myanmar in early 2020, taking an enormous toll on the country. Many Lethway camps were closed and all fight events canceled. Fighters with no further money-making opportunities were forced to return home to their rural communities to fend for themselves and their families. The crisis was further exasperated by the February 1, 2021 coup, staged by the military to topple the democratically elected government, reversing 10 years of progress and reform. This dark and troubling period now forms the basis of the new chapter of work. Much of the first two major chapters of my research is reflected in the Born Warriors documentary trilogy and the companion website. But the story isn't over yet. The new part that requires additional funding focuses on capturing what is happening right now within the sport. This consists of revisiting the camps, fighters, and teachers to gain valuable information and insight. It also includes shooting the final elements for a possible short video documentary to support the book release and to capture important companion material for the new website and future presentations. I hope you can join me on this final journey into Myanmar to complete what will certainly be an exceptional and groundbreaking series of projects.